Welcome folks. We haven't defined isomorphisms yet, but we've started to see a little bit about what they mean. Two groups are isomorphic if they have the same structure, you know, up to relabeling the names of the elements. And when you lo look at groups of size four, there's really only two different isomorphism classes. One is Z mod 4Z, the integers mod four. It's pictured down below. And in the multiplication table, you get this diagonal banded structure. The other isomorphism class is the Klein four group, which is also Z mod two Z cross Z mod two Z. And here I like to describe the, the structure as this checkerboard pattern. Okay. So let's take this other group of size four. It has as its elements one and negative one and I and negative I. So I, you know, is, is, um, is the square root of negative one. So the only property that we'll be using about i is that i squared is equal to negative one. So it's this pure complex number. All right, and, and the group operation is gonna be multiplication. So let's just try to draw the multiplication table for this new group of size four and see what we think it's isomorphic to. I'm gonna to try to fool you. <laughs> All right. So the elements are one, negative one, I and negative I. But let's let's um decorate them. So my elements are one, negative one, I. And negative i. And let's fill out this multiplication table. So, where are the ones in this multiplication table? Well, one times one is one, negative one times negative one is one. Um, and then i times negative i is negative i squared. i squared is negative one, so negative i squared is one. Where are the negative ones in this table? Well, negative one times one is negative one. And then I squared is negative one by definition. And negative I squared, well, the negatives cancel and then I just get I squared, which is negative one. Where are the I's in this table? Well, one times I or negative I times negative one. And where are the negative i's in this table? Well, negative i times one or i times negative one. So either out loud or in the chat, any guesses yet what group this is isomorphic to? Z mod four Z or the Klein four group? You might be tempted to guess the Klein four group. It looks a little bit more like the Klein four group, okay? But it's not, it's not quite right. You know, you'll notice in the Klein four group, it's, it's red all the way down this diagonal. And we don't have that. We have red only part of the way down this diagonal, right? So when you try to match up these elements so that the color is preserved, um, you know, this box matches up, this box matches up, this box, box matches up, but this last box does not match up because green and red have been flipped. See that? So we're not yet sure what group this is isomorphic to. It's, it is isomorphic to one of them. I've just ordered my elements incorrectly or sort of colored my elements incorrectly. All right. Let me show you the right way to see which group this is isomorphic to. Put one first, but then put I. I is actually gonna be a generator of this group, okay? And then next put, um, oh, I should, I should make I green. Mm 
Next put negative one, which is gonna be our generator squared. I squared is negative one. And then put negative I, which is gonna be our generator cubed. Okay. So now let's fill out this multiplication table. My ones are here and then also here, right? Negative one times negative one is one and I times negative I is one. Where are my eyes? My eyes are here. Where are the negative ones? They're here. I squared is negative one. Negative I, quantity squared is negative one. And finally, my negative eyes are here. Okay. So this group is actually isomorphic to Z mod 4Z. You can see that these diagonal bands indeed match up perfectly with all the right colors. Okay. So the answer is uh, Z mod 4Z. I've just given you the intuition by drawing these pictures and seeing that the colors match up. I haven't even defined isomorphism rigorous, rigorously yet. How did I know how to order the elements, you know, in order to make the pictures match? Well, Z mod 4Z is a cyclic group and it's generated by one, right? One combined with itself, uh, one plus one is two, one plus one plus one is three. And if I take quote unquote zero copies of one, I get the additive identity, which is zero. In the same way, I generates this group. I squared is negative one. I cubed is uh, negative I. And I combined with itself zero times is the multiplicative identity one. Any public questions? Thanks.